When ionic substances crystallize, their individual ions align themselves to form a, a pretty organized, rigid structure. But sometimes when they align themselves in that crystalline structure, there's enough space in between the formula units that molecules of water can become trapped within that crystalline structure. And when this happens, what is formed is referred to as a hydrate. The ionic substance, if there is no water trapped within its structure, is referred to as an anhydrous salt, anhydrous meaning without water. Uh, when it is exposed to moisture, or water is added to it, uh, it becomes hydrated, just as when we drink water we become hydrated. And a lot of times the anhydrous salt and the hydrate visually look different from one another, different colors or different consistencies. Now with these hydrates there is a specific ratio of for every unit of the anhydrous salt there are a certain number of water molecules that can be associated with each unit of that salt. And so this ratio is something that we can quantify. The way that we recognize a hydrate formula is by the presence of an ionic compound formula followed by a dot, much like a multiplication symbol in math class, followed by the formula for water and there may or may not be a coefficient in front of that water formula. Now, what this formula in this case is showing us is that for every, for every unit or every mole's worth of calcium sulfate that is present, there are two units or two moles of water present. So it's a one to two ratio. For every calcium sulfate, there are two waters. To name the hydrate, you name the ionic compound as you typically would, whether you need to use the stock system, uh, whether you have to change the ending if it's a binary compound to IDE or if it's a polyatomic ion, name it just as you would name any ionic formula that we look at. So in this case CaSO4 is calcium sulfate. To indicate that water is included in that crystalline structure in a hydrated form, the word hydrate is used rather than water. And if there is a prefix, uh, or a, a coefficient rather, and even if there's not a coefficient, uh, a prefix is used to indicate the number of water molecules present. If there's no number, then it's understood to be one and the prefix mono would be used. Here we have two waters, so we would use the term dihydrate to refer to the water portion of this formula. And so altogether this would be named calcium sulfate dihydrate. At this point Let's take a break and play a little Name That Hydrate. So if you would pause the presentation for a few moments, try naming these three hydrate formulas, and then restart the presentation to check your answers. Thanks for playing Name That Hydrate. Calculating the formula mass of a hydrate is just the same as calculating the formula mass for any formula we've looked at so far, in that you take each element, whether it's part of the ionic salt or part of the water, the hydrated portion, and you take its atomic mass and find the sum total. So in this case, the nickel-2 sulfite has a formula mass of 138.7 atomic mass units. Water typically has a mass of 18.0 atomic mass units, but there are six of them, so we have to multiply the 18.0 times six, which gives us 108 atomic mass units. And when we sum total these two together, we get the formula mass for the nickel-2 sulfite hexahydrate being 247 atomic mass units with proper sig fig rounding. When we measure the mass of a hydrate, we need to consider that a good proportion of that mass is coming from the water. And so if we compare the anhydrous salt mass with the hydrated salt mass, there's a, a pretty significant difference there. To calculate the percent water in a hydrate, we do it much the same way that we calculate the percent composition uh, of the elements in a compound. 
First we need to calculate the mass due to the water by itself, and then we need to calculate the mass of the entire hydrate, the salt plus the water. When we divide these two we can, and multiply by 100, we can then calculate the percent of water, the mass that is due to the water.